And when it comes to 3D lighting and rendering, preparing your 3D model would require a set of lights and one form of lighting is HDRIs. HDRIs or high dynamic range images are images that stores a range of lightness tones and dark tones within a photo as this measures the overall intensity from highlights to the shadows. And for 3D rendering, these HDR images are wrapped into a spherical shape which can be used as a source of light for rendering the 3D model and making HDRIs in most cases require a set of skills which can come at a cost. And of course in recent times we've seen Nvidia push the idea of Canvas 360 which is a tool that uses Nvidia Gaon Gaon technology to convert to those to 360 high dynamic range images that can be used in other 3D tools for rendering. And as we anticipate the announcement of this, a wonderful tool is already around the corner which makes creating HDRIs super easy. And this wonderful tool is currently powered by Stable Diffusion and the name is Latent Labs. So for those who like to try this, probably you'll want to check it out, then you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you over to latentlab.art. All you need to do is get right here, put a simple prompt and you can hit the word generate. And because this is being powered by Stable Diffusion, this just simply takes a couple of seconds and generates something for you. So at this point, if we just go around, you can see what we have right here and this is looking really cool. Now there is also something you would notice, there is a bit of a clipping that you find here and because this is currently in its 0.0.3 .0 alpha, I guess over time this will be improved and it might look pretty nice. So you can search for stuff, so we can actually search for things like clouds. So let's just go ahead and type in the word clouds, just simple clouds and see what it generates. So at this point you can either choose to play with a stable diffusion 1.5 or you can switch these to 2.1. Now, depending on what you're trying to get, this is going to get you something. So we do have that with 1.5. Let's see what we can get with the 2.1. And maybe you're just sort of thinking, can I create a HDRI based of a particular topic or based of a particular prompt? Now you sure can. So this looks pretty interesting, but we need something better. So let's hit on generate one more time and see what this comes up with. So once you get the results you're looking for, what you can do is preview this and if you're comfortable, you can hit the download image. Now this is going to download a PNG file. So once you download this, the file dimension that you get with this is 1024 by 512. Now for most of your project, this is definitely going to look pretty, pretty small. So if you would like to upscale this, you can actually take the PNG file and stick it up right here within the big PNG. So big PNG is a free platform which uses AI to enlarge your images. And of course you can simply do that. So I'm just gonna grab that and plug this right in. So once you plug it in, you can click on the word start and it will ask you for a couple of things. We would like to upscale this a little bit more than what it is. This is a photo and we would like to get this maybe the highest. So now depending on the settings that you give, this is going to take a couple of seconds to get this ready. And once this is ready, you can now fire up Blender and start playing with it. Now, before we get into Blender, you'd notice that we have two of these right here. So I can simply select this, go over to the view section and we can turn on the detail panel. You can see what we have here with the original one is 1024 by 512 and the upscaled one we have like 4K by 2K. So it's just, you know, something to keep in mind. Now, if you would like to use this in Blender, it is pretty easy. So what we can do is to make sure that we have this subdivided. I'm going to set this to auto smooth so we can have that. Actually, let's subdivide this a bit more. And now that we have this subdivided, I can simply click, drag out all the way there and we can go over to our shader editor and from the shader editor, we can switch this to wall. Now we would like to use this to drive the environment. So how to do that is to go over to add, go all the way down here to texture and throw in the environment texture. Now within the environment texture, we'll take the color, connect the color to surface and we can click on open and load the HDR. If we switch over to cycles, let's take a look at what we have here. So if we switch over to cycles and then we roll that, we would notice that we have this at this point. So depending on what you're looking for, you can now use this and drive several objects. So it also makes sense to know that there are several places where you can download free HDRIs. And this is for those who are thinking about getting pretty decent HDRIs that it can work with. So we've mentioned production creates. You can also find some interesting HDRI from HDRI maps. The folks at Light Maps have also released a couple of these. Matte Paint has also released a couple. And there is also some location textual HDRI maps that you can get. 
And in terms of add-ons, there is also a few Blender add-ons and also asset packs that offers HDRIs that you can work with. So for those who've been thinking about using AI to generate their own HDRIs, then you can simply go over to Latent Labs where you can take a look at these and start creating some impressive stuff. At the same time, if you're looking for a free AI upskilling tool, then bigjpeg.com is also another beautiful platform where you can upscale your images and get the most out of them. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. Latent Labs is now here and it can only get better. And for those who like to try it, links to all of this is gonna be in the description, so do well to check it out. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.